Get full episodes of The Damage Report as a podcast on iTunes and Android, and you can watch the live show every weekday on YouTube TV. We've been talking recently about Wisconsin, where in this midterm election, uh, the Democratic uh, governor uh, candidate was elected, also uh, attorney general. And uh, so it looks like people in Wisconsin really support the Democrats, and now the Democrats will have power, except that they won't. Because as happened in North Carolina uh, just a couple of years ago, uh, the Republicans who still control the state legislature and still technically have a Republican governor for a little bit longer, are passing a number of different laws to uh, handicap the incoming new Democratic uh, politicians. Uh, we've been talking about that. It has actually happened now. They passed that bill. The GOP power grab in Wisconsin is now complete. <clears throat> Let's talk about some of the things that they did. One part of the package would prohibit municipalities from allowing more than two weeks of early voting. And the weird thing is, in America, you can cut down the amount of time people have to vote, and you don't even have to debate it. You don't have to answer for, answer for it. Mm -hmm. You can just pass a bill that says, I don't want people to vote. I don't want it to be easy. I want it to be very, very difficult. I want as few people as possible to vote. And that presumably won't hurt them in future elections. They won't have to, there won't be ads attacking them. Yeah. It's just, yeah, democracy is this interesting optional thing that we have in America. It's weird. Sometimes we have it, sometimes we don't. And it's totally based upon whoever you think is your team. So again, like there's there's this perception, uh, because of the, the previous ways that things have always done with elections, they know that their voting block won't necessarily benefit from this. Mm -hmm. But again, it has to be an approach in the way that it attack, because attack ads just go to them saying, hey, that team is attacking my team, I hate that team. So no matter what they're saying, they must be lying or they must be doing something that would hurt me. Yeah. Seeing as from people from, say, in this case, the Republican side. The approach, I think, and I don't know if it's catering too much to idiots, but the approach can then be, hey, you know what they're doing to you, Republican voters? Mm -hmm. They're keeping you from voting. Like, don't even say it like there's a, th and they're coming after, you know, if the attack ads come that way, which, those don't even come. First of all, yeah. the tag ads don't even happen. But if you at least go with the, hey, this is what they're doing to you. The narrative has to become uh, these these Republican officials, representatives, don't actually represent even you. Because mm -hmm. they still think they're being represented somehow. Yeah. And I don't know how, well, I do know how because we're not letting people know how much they're actually not being represented. Everyone should yeah. have the ability to vote. It's not a Democrat. Oh yeah, we want our liberals to come out and vote, not the Republicans. Mm. No one ever says that. Well, and hopefully people should care about that. Yeah. One of the reasons you don't have the ads is as incensed as we might get about these sorts of things or you know, voter ID and, and all these different measures, voter suppression, voter purges, all that. It seems like the vast majority of people in America are like, eh. Totally. Eh, what's? Yeah, American democracy, that's cool. Maybe someday I'll vote, don't really care. Maybe it'll be really hard, maybe it won't. People are incredibly blase yep. about the one, the most important thing that allows them to have an effect on everything else in this country politically. What ends up happening, you have to have those voting rights and people just don't prioritize them. You know why old folks love to vote? Because when they were growing up, it was drilled into their heads. This is the only control. This is the main level of control you have on your life and your world. Vote, 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 vote. And yeah. there's so many people who didn't have the ability or right to vote that those folks, there's old old black folks, they love to vote because they mm -hmm. remember when they couldn't. Yeah. So we don't we don't have that percept that uh, that the the historical nature in our brains anymore about it. So it needs to be said over and over and over again. If someone comes out and you know there's your pet project, there's a voting holiday and they won't stop saying we need a voting holiday, a voting holiday, a voting holiday, a voting holiday, mm -hmm. we won't get it. Yeah, yeah, and I don't, I don't know if that was in that first bill, the voting rights bill that the Democrats talked about. I, I will check to make sure, I'm not 100% sure. Let's talk about what else is in this uh, power grab that they passed. Other provisions would give the legislature full control of a state economic development agency. Uh, block the governor's ability to write regulations and allow the legislature to hire its own lawyers to file lawsuits on behalf of the state. All of these things are things that they honestly believe that the legislature should be in control of. And they just didn't think of it during the many years that they had a Republican <laughs> governor. It's just, I guess he just happened to have that power for a little while. Um, obviously, uh, Governor uh, Evers, uh, Tony Evers, the, the incoming Democrat who won uh, recently, is uh, going to challenge this. Uh, he says, we will actively be looking at either to litigate or do whatever else in our power to make sure the people of Wisconsin are represented at the table. 
So good luck to him in that. Uh, in North Carolina, they, they were actually successful, thankfully, the Democrats in stopping some of this. Um, but this can't be a thing that Tony Evers is doing, or the Wisconsin Democratic Party is doing, or even Wisconsin is doing. As a country, we need to fight back against this. Whether your interest is just in stopping future voter suppression acts and things like that, or whether you philosophically are opposed to effectively making democracy irrelevant. You gerrymander the hell out of these things. Um, you set up things like you know, obviously the Electoral College, the, the Senate itself. You make it so that you do not effectively need to win elections anymore. Right. That is what the Republicans have staked out as their political governing strategy going forward. Lose elections, keep power. Lose elections <laughs> massively, keep super majorities in the, the state legislatures. That is what they're doing. We are either going to bow down to it or we're going to fight back. I, I don't know what else, what else Tony Evers has been saying, but that mm. one line, I know there's more. But I feel like there needs to be Seems, a level of yeah. anger. Fine, let them call you mad. Let them let them say that you're a sore winner. I don't know, what <laughs> what is how can they how can they pose your anger towards uh, you stripping power from a, a winning candidate for governor of a of a state. Yeah. I, I so if you come in strong again, maybe he's saying other things. I saw one thing where he said, frankly, the entire thing is a hot mess. Cool, 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 yeah, yeah. But when he's saying, we're gonna look into some things. I can remember the quote exactly. We're gonna look into some things and decide what we can do, leg, uh, potentially uh, uh, legislatively or whatever mm -hmm. they, whatever he said. Yeah, or or a court challenge, which to, is to, most to likely how this do. will go. Sure, but you know what? Continue to tell the public this is messed up. Mm -hmm. They're anti-American. This is unpatriotic thing to do. Mm -hmm. Like this is what they're up to. This is what the governor. Why we just kicked him out? Yeah, because he doesn't love America. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's ridiculous. I mean, people have been talking about like it's something that in the past we haven't really had to think about. But lame duck sessions are kind of interesting. It's like like effectively, if you have enough of a wave election, yeah. like the people have been pretty clear that they don't support you, but you have this last chance to shape things in your favor. And just imagine, like if. If through all of this conversation, you still think this isn't a big deal, imagine if you heard this was happening in another country. That someone had won and then they just drastically stripped their powers at the yep. last moment. Like, would you actually think, yeah, that is a strong functioning democracy in that other country? I don't think that you would. We used to be able to point okay. out and say we don't do things like that. Exactly, no, we do, unfortunately. And, and thankfully, they fought back in a couple of instances. Hopefully, it will succeed in Wisconsin as well, the fighting back. Thank you very much for watching this clip from the damage report. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell on YouTube to get notifications of our new videos. And of course, you can catch the full damage report live every weekday at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific on TYT Network on YouTube TV.